Men of Reddit. What were the consequences of sticking your D in crazy? I dated a girl who used to always bang gangster. Dudes tell me to hit her in an argument. Me, a softy wuss, obviously wouldn't do it. She'd tell me to man up and end the f argument already and take control of your woman. I never took the bait and in the 10 years since her I can't say any other woman has made fun of me for not hitting her. Met a crazy one a couple of years ago. Started having sex and she got clingy very quick. Talked about moving in and marriage the first week or so. When I told her I wanted to keep it casual, she flipped. Calling and texting non-stop. Stopping by my house three to four times a day to check in and see what is going on. When I realized that she couldn't handle this type of relationship, I cut things off. Stopped answering my front door and phone. She was relentless. Even brought the police to my house for a wellness check. Anyway, she seemingly got the point and I didn't hear from her for a while until my mom called. She had driven to their house to try and get them to convince me that we should be together. During this discussion, she shared all of the intimate details of our relationship with them. My parents live 2,300 miles away from me. You read that correctly. She drove across America to drop in on my folks. They were not amused. I forgot to add, we are in our 40s. She had never met my parents, and I guess she just used Google to figure out where they lived. It was very inappropriate to include them. According to my dad, she got graphic describing our sex. Not sure what her end game was, but my folks were nice for about 30 minutes and then told her to hit the road. We had a fight. We were then having makeup sex. She was giving me a blowjob and stopped turned her head to the left and bit my inner thigh. 38 years later and I still have the scar. I was absolutely terrified I was about to read that she bit your dick. I mean, this is still insane and bad, but I'm just thanking the Lord it wasn't your dick. You really care about his dick huh? Yes. When we broke up she got into my apartment and poured a gigantic bottle of mustard in the back of my new flat screen dated this girl I met at uni for about a year or so. Things seemed to be going great. A little too great. Went to meet her family at their home and was told point blank that her mother advocated for her dating as many men at once as she could. Also her mom also told her that if she wanted to lose weight, to try speed. It was really awkward. Fast forward to the coming months and she's telling me this story about a guy at work cornering her in the elevator and forcing himself on her to make out with her. Yet she didn't go to the police or authorities. Seemed even more odd. She didn't even want me to go to them. Then her roommate started telling me she was cheating on me. I was in too deep at that point to believe it. But the icing on the cake was when my own brother came to me and sat me down to tell me that she had approached him while she was visiting and I was at work. In that moment it all clicked. So I went to confront her. She went into total meltdown mode on me. Trying to make me feel guilty about everything. Like it was my fault or something that she wanted all the dick she could get. So after we break up she keeps messaging me telling me that we need to talk. That she was suicidal and it was all my fault. Telling me she was in the hospital. She was straight up nuts. That's not even including the time she told me she was pregnant all day on April 1st. I ran the whole gamut of emotions that day. The stages of grief are real let me tell you. Even a year later she still messaged me telling me how I ruined her life. How she had to go through counseling and treatment and how she had lost a ton of weight because of it. Well I'm glad she took her mom's advice. Now she's single and on speed. Good riddance to that bag of crazy. Glad I didn't catch and baby with her or worse. When I was in college, a girl wanted a little vengeance on her ex-boyfriend and set a couch outside of his apartment on fire. The apartment building caught fire and killed four people. I had a car break down on me and couldn't pick up my kids. So, her being home all day, I asked her if she was able to pick them up as a favor. I told her it wasn't a problem if she couldn't but I just really could use the help. She picks them up no problems. 
Anyway, I get home and she is napping. My kids are watching TV, but one of them is under two so maybe shouldn't be unsupervised. I don't think much of it because she is younger and maybe didn't think before napping, and it's only been an hour or so. I go to fix a drink after cooking up some dinner for everyone. A half liter of rum is empty from the cupboard. In the two hours I had left her alone to run errands she had drank that much and still gone to pick up my kids before passing out in the room. I moved her out that same weekend. I know somebody who had their pubes burned in their sleep. Blowtorch. She slept with someone at her work Xmas party then came back and tried to tell me she was five weeks pregnant with my baby. She proceeded to get wine drunk when I told her that I'd support her decision but I sure was shit wasn't going to propose or get back together if it was mine. She got an abortion but refused to let me know when or where it was. I'm 100% sure wasn't pregnant with my child given the fact that I couldn't perform for a couple weeks due to a giant gash in my leg. I couldn't perform for a couple weeks due to a giant gash in my leg. By any chance, were you bitten during a blowjob? M-E-T-A. My buddy got a paternity test request in the mail. Found out he was the father of a four-year-old girl from some random chick. The baby mama is terrible. She's taken him to court many many times to up child support. And his daughter has turned out completely bonkers. He has little contact with his child but still pays $1,300 a month in child support plus medical, insurance, etc. The mom has lost all control over the daughter and she just alerted my buddy that she started calling the cops on the daughter because she's violent. Now the child is moving 10 hours away to live with her grandmother several states away was stabbed in the back for cheating on her in a dream, literally stabbed, with a fork, the tines were completely buried in my back, I had to have my neighbor pull the fork out so I could get to the hospital, four stitches later I got home, she was still asleep in my bed, I was cheating on her in her dream, not mine, literally stabbed, with a fork, four stitches later, checks out, she said masturbation was cheating and I disagreed. After some verbal fighting she took her pet mouse I got her and fed it to her dog. Mortified. I took my stuff and never looked back. Didn't technically stick my dick in crazy we just fooled around a few times but no sex. Then one night we had a party at my place she jumped into my bed and I wasn't having it. I told her I didn't want to hook up. So she did the rational thing and latched onto my face like a pit bull. Leaving a nice bloody and bruised bite mark on my face. She sounds stable. More like she belongs in one. My ex-best friend was such a nag and not picker about everything. Her boyfriends wouldn't last more than a couple months with her. By seeing how she was with them, you just feel sorry for the guy. She would try to keep them around by claiming she was pregnant when she actually wasn't. One time she actually did get pregnant in an attempt to land the guy. But it didn't turn out as she wanted it because he told her that he will be there for the kid. But he wasn't going to be in a relationship with her. So she got an abortion and claimed she miscarried. Then she met a guy. They dated for six months her longest relationship ever. She was 27 by the way and she got pregnant. He wanted to do the right thing. So he married her. I went over to their house for dinner once while she was pregnant. And I just couldn't see how he was able to put up with her. She was nitpicking everything he did right in front of me while he was making dinner. And by that I mean she was literally standing behind him while he was cooking and saying things like you're adding that to the potatoes. That looks disgusting and so on. I literally felt sorry for the guy. Well, about two months after she had the baby, he filed for divorce and got sole custody of the baby because she was crazy and a hoarder. Her family stood behind him 100% and helped him gain custody. I was in a band and I had dated this girl less than a month. It was her birthday, but I had a show that night. I also was pushing a 102 degree fever. She came to the show, and I had done what I thought was above and beyond for this girl who I still barely knew. I bought flowers, a small cake. We had the bar sing happy birthday to her. She then proceeded to get exceedingly drunk and spent the evening talking shit about me to my own friends. Not even 10 feet from me as if I couldn't hear her. At the end of the show I told her I was too sick to go out afterwards for her birthday but I would take her out over the weekend. 
she exploded into a tirade of screaming and crying. I just walked away to my car and drove home. She texted me later that night to say she didn't feel like I was invested in this relationship and if that was the case we should just break up. I wholeheartedly agreed, wished her well, and blocked her crazy ass on every platform imaginable. And that's how I broke up with a girl, on her birthday, by text message. She broke up with M.E., then stalked me and sent me suicide threats for a year afterwards. Now trapped in a relationship with someone I work with, if we break up, she'd do something wild enough to get me or us both fired, secretly seeking a better job elsewhere or transfer. I've learned my lesson. That one is known as, don't dip your pen in the company ink. I was in a really bad time personally from moving out from my parents' place to saying at the time f college i can do better on my own and hooked up with this girl that used to work with me at albertson's a year or two prior from getting my own place this was all around the year 2000 so shit's a little hazy things were great at the start of course she eventually just kind of invited herself in and i let her sex nightly shit was crazy awesome then one day she proposed a threesome i was all for it of course the day came and she straight up told me no penetration with her. That's my rule. But if I leave the room it's all your decision. After our marathon and she left for the bathroom. That was a hard rule to adhere to. But I did. I played by the rules. Two weeks later I heard from our third wheel. She admitted she was underage by four months and it was a trap to try and snag me for statutory rape. All my girlfriend's idea. So luckily, I didn't stick my dick in that. Needless to say, shit rapidly declined with my girlfriend. I got her kicked out of the apartment with police assistance. A month later she tried to contact me saying I'm pregnant and you're the father. I always used condoms that I bought, she didn't provide, so I said come back to me when you give birth and I'll prove otherwise, she did, she then filed child support paperwork, now here's where shit really gets sideways, it wasn't mine, it wasn't three other people that were DNA tested, it was, her stepfather's, just recalling this story, that even to this day my wife doesn't know about, makes me want to scrub with a Brillo pad straight on my dingus, after I broke up with her she called my family members one by one to falsely claim I have raped her. She continued to harass my family by having her friends call and send messages to my sister claiming she is in hospital having committed suicide. This all happened in the days my friends saw her going out with other men.